Hello all. In this tutorial, we are going to create a prop in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference, a very basic prop. We are going to model over here. So we have a prop over here. That is your a PUBG game airdrop. So this is a very basic stuff, a basic prop. This is for beginners. So let's get started. So let's take a plane over here. So take a plane over here. You can give any color to it. Now the next part is creating a box. So when you are creating a box, so let's make it 2 by 2 by 2 and reduce. So this is a perfect shape over here for a box. <coughs> Convert to editable poly and let's give a bit of inset and you can delete it. If you don't want to delete it, you can just use a extrude option and you can push it a bit inside. So after you are done with this step over here, now what you can do is just convert to editable poly and we can create some kind of over here we can easily create the details over here so for creating this generating these details so very first of all we'll take a loop over here to the outside take a loop outside take a loop over here in this manner the next step is just select this click on connect so add some connects over here so you can add some connect click ok go over here add some connects and click ok that's it so after you are done with this step over here so we have not applied the loop yet outside so you can click on this polygons one by one so click on this polygons over here select all these polygons and you have an option called inset you can insert a bit and click ok and there is an option called bevel so you can easily bevel it in this way okay that's it so as you can see over here you can if you want to pick a color so you can easily pick a color from here and you can assign the color so we have just assigned a basic color to it now the next step is over here Let's go to the top view and take a plane, take a plane over here, push this plane onto the top, increase its segments and let's make it as a cloth. So for creating this as a cloth, select this, you can go into animation go into mass effects so very first of all click on this box animation mass effects go into rigid bodies and there is an option called set selected as static rigid body so I'm making this as a static rigid body go down and shape type make it as original select this animation mass effects cloth create m cloth 
animation, mass effects, simulation, play simulation. So, oops. so once you're creating a simulation, so that cloth will get animated. So what we'll do is we'll increase the size of the cloth. So we'll increase the size of the cloth. So we'll do the same stuff over here. Mass effects, cloth, create and cloth. So once you are creating this M cloth animation, mass effects, cloth and create M cloth. Simulation, play simulation. So once you're done, you can just convert this. So animation, mass effect, simulation, step. So once you've created this, so you can scale it out. If you want to scale it out, you can push this up. You can scale it, scale up it. If you want to reduce the size, you can reduce the size over here and you can take the reference. So rendering view image file and let's take this reference over here. So if you want to give any color to it, you can easily give any color. We'll give a basic color. So add any kind of a custom color and assign it. So now the next step is you can select this cloth, convert to editable poly. You can go into this free form and there is an option called shift. So you can easily deform it. You can shift a bit inside if you want to adjust this cloth accordingly. So you are going to adjust it in a right manner. So click on to the top view. Let's save it. Take a rectangle over here and draw a rectangle click on to the top of the rectangle enable in viewport and make it as a rectangle so reduce the thickness so if you want to reduce the thickness you can easily reduce the thickness if you want to shift it down you can easily shift it down even you can rotate this you can make it to the 90 degree and you can rotate it if you want to fit it so you can easily you can fit it So you can easily fit it. So you can just make a copy of it. So you can just duplicate it. So you can just fit this everywhere. You can just duplicate it. And now you can just select this cloth and you have an option called push and pull. So you can uh, easily 
increase the brush size reduce the strength and you can push this up wherever you want so you can just uh, fit it Just press Alt to push it in. You can push it out. You can reduce the size of the brush. You can easily adjust it in this fashion so what I'm exactly doing is it should come behind this So you need to do it for all the sides, you can reduce the strength of it more, so this can need to work out for all this. So just go on selecting it. So you need to do it for all the sides. Okay. So it should look like you know it is right from to the right from the top. Okay. So now this is perfect okay so now you can just uh, save this file shift and copy it can give any kind of a darker color you can also give a black color if you want So you can just group it. So that's your airdrop create. So thanks for watching this tutorial.